Hi guys, how are you? In this video, we are going to talk about different drainage systems or as you can say different drainage patterns. So without wasting your time, it's so precious, let's get right on the point. Drainage system means what is the flowing pattern of a river. So first of all, clear out your mind, we are not talking about the drainage systems which are flowing underground beneath our feet. That is, we are not talking about any Nala or Anali. We are talking about the drainage patterns of a big river. Like see, there is a river and uh, as we know what is a river obviously. So a river originates from let's say a hilltop or let's say a glacier. So uh, this is a very poor hill. So now river is flowing down from this hill and it goes into the plains and then it ultimately merges into an water body which may be an ocean or a sea or anything. So this pattern, how that river is flowing is known as a drainage system. So drainage, drain, it only means that something is flowing. I have always told you in all my videos that in order to understand anything, it is most important that you break down the words. So in this video, we are talking about drainage system. So let's break down. It means drain means to flow out. So drainage means something is flowing and system means how that thing is flowing. So a river drainage system or a river drainage pattern means how that river is flowing. So as we know the river originates from a glacier from the foot of a glacier or from a hilltop and it ultimately merges into a water body. Now but what is the flow or what is the course of its flow and how it is flowing? That is known as the drainage pattern. Now, if the river may be flowing in a straight line, which is not possible even in a hypothetical example, the river may be flowing in a zigzag manner, it may be flowing uh, in a curved manner known as meandering and there are multiple tributaries. How those tributaries are joining that river also determines the drainage pattern and at the third stage of a river, the river starts breaking into different distributaries and again how they are flowing determines different landforms and accordingly they are also called as drainage patterns. If I have said too many technical terms for you, it is important that we break down before we move ahead. I just mentioned about the three stages of a river that is when the river originates it is known as the youth stage of the river. When it enters into the plains it is known as in the mature phase and when it is in its later planes and it's about to get merged it is known as its old phase also known as the upper course of the river the middle course of the river and the lower course of the river in the youthful stage we see the formation of fast flowing rivers known as rapids we see the formation of waterfalls these are mostly near the hills or the foot of the glaciers where the river has originated from. When we see the mature phase, the river has become somewhat comparatively slower in its flow and it has started forming flood plains. In the older phase, these flood plains become much much broader and the sediments start getting deposited and ultimately they form in a shape of a delta and they get merged with the water body. Coming back to the topic where we are talking about the drainage patterns, you need to understand that there can be many types of drainage patterns. So it is important that we understand the technical ones and learn the art of breaking down the terminologies so that we can understand them without listening to any more such kind of time wasting videos. So first of all, as we are seeing the dendritic type of drainage pattern. As I have told you right in the beginning and all in my videos, whenever you come across a new term, just break down that word. The word dendritic has arrived or I would say originated from a word called dendron, which is a Greek word which means a tree shaped. Dendron is also a place in South Africa. So this Greek word which stands for tree and dendritic signifies that a river pattern which is in the form of a branches of a tree. So it is an irregular 
obviously how can a regular shade be like a tree shape it is an irregular tree branched shaped like pattern but why does it form it forms because of a uniform lithology which means that there is a uniform rock structure there are no faults or joints which are significant that can alter the course of the river for example let's say the river is coming from here from the himalayas and here it enters let's say a plain area and say if there is a fault fault means that there is a drop in the level in the ground level there is a host and there is a graben if there is a fault a significant fault then the river will fall like this which will create a waterfall and that will give it a regular shape obviously waterfalls are always a regular shape aren't those so how can in an irregular shaped lithology a dendritic pattern can ever be formed just listen to me very carefully i am going to ask a question on this at the end of the video which rivers do we see follow this pattern we see the tributaries of indus godavari mahanadi kaveri krishna just look at those the deccan rivers you will find many websites claiming that the dendritic pattern is found only in the north india that is absolutely false why right because in front of you i have stated the deccan rivers mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri all four of them are following the dendritic pattern the trellis pattern shows that the primary tributaries of the river are flowing parallel to each other and the secondary tributaries are joining them at the right angles what is this here is the main river main river is the river which has coming from the mountains and flowing to the water body it is joined by different kinds of tributaries okay okay but what if the primary tributaries are flowing in a parallel manner and what if the tributaries to these tributaries are also flowing in a manner that is right angle to them isn't it possible so this is the primary tributary which is joining the main river and that is is the secondary tributary which is joining the primary tributary so in this pattern where the primary tributaries are flowing parallel to each other and the secondary tributaries are joining them at the right angles this is known as the trellis pattern now a good question from a sharp mind should be which kind of river follows the trellis pattern and a classic example is the cn river now where is this river it is found in the paris basin now it is your duty to tell me in the comment section the paris basin opens to which river please i am waiting to know your views in the comment section the paris basin opens in which river or which ocean or which sea i would rather say now it comes the angular pattern let's see guys if you have understand what i have been saying angular pattern just break down the word angular word means acute angle or angle so in such kind of a uh, pattern where the tributaries are joining the main river at an angle which is an acute angle or which are forming an angular shape those are known as the angular drainage pattern then what is this rectangular flow of river as the word suggest rectangular so for the rectangular flow of pattern we need to see that the main river is bending at right angles and even the tributaries are joining the main river at right angles just see the beauty of nature this is the beauty of geography which helps us to appreciate the beauty of nature that different kinds of river patterns are following in a natural manner and a classic example for that is the colorado river also known as the mighty colorado river famously known in the us so guys i have explained you in a beautiful manner in a simplified manner different types of drainage patterns and now you tell me the meaning of radial the word radial means that the system of a river flow which arises from a hill and flows 
in all the possible directions. This is the radial pattern. A classic example as we know is the river Narmada following from the Amar Kantak Plateau. Now you tell me in the comment section the Amar Kantak Plateau falls in which biosphere reserves and is it above the equator or is it below the equator. Three questions for you and one is coming shortly. So a sharp mind should question that if the radial pattern is talking about flowing of river from a central place can there be such a pattern also when the river after completing its journey is flowing in the central place like the radial pattern is originating from a, from, from a central place can there be a drainage pattern when the river system is culminating or terminating at a central place yes it is the beauty of nature this is known as the centripetal drainage pattern where all the river tributaries are joining at one place so if a question comes that the radial pattern and the centripetal pattern are just mirror images of each other formed at different course of the river journey true false absolutely true now i want you to answer all my three questions in the comment section immediately and let's see what is your score in those so in this video we have talked about different types of drainage pattern and now i have mastered you in understanding any concept just by breaking down what it means to say so i just request you one thing i'm not charging you anything i'm just requesting you one thing to please subscribe this channel and please like this video that's how the youtube algorithm works the more you subscribe and the more you like this video the more popular it will become and more and more people will be able to take benefit from this video i again thank you so much for watching this video and let's have a new interaction in a new video quite soon till then goodbye take care